And Griff, for more on President Biden's agenda in his first 100 days, let's turn to Democratic New York Congressman Tom Suozzi. Congressman, thank you so much for being here today. Um, I'd like to begin with something that your colleague, Congressman Don Bacon of Nebraska, who's also on the Problem Solvers Caucus, what he had to say with regard to a relief package. He said, quote, we're of the opinion that we should give it a little time. We just passed a $900 billion plan. We've already passed a $3 trillion one, you know, back in March. And now we did another $900 billion. So I'm, I don't think there's a big appetite for an immediate, another COVID round at least. Congressman Swazi, do you think there is a way to find some common ground here? Yes, I do, Alicia. I think that Democrats and Republicans can work together. And uh, what every economist has told us, whether they're the most conservative, the most progressive economist, is that the biggest mistake we can make now is not spending enough money. And the president uh, has laid out a plan to spend another $1.9 trillion uh, on things like state and local aid, on additional money for vaccines, on getting stimulus checks out to individual uh, residents. Uh, we need to try and keep things moving. And I think that it's important that we spend this money on another package as soon as possible, because a lot of the programs that we put in place all expire in March. The last $900 billion plan was all put in, in place with an idea that it was just a stopgap, just to keep us going, a down payment to get us through to March. Now it's time to put a new plan in place. And as you know, um, President Biden is is hoping for a $15 minimum wage to hike it um, from the federal level nationwide. Do you think that that could get in the way with negotiations when you have Republicans who are more concerned about the future of the economy and how that could maybe pause things and slow things down in negotiations with the COVID relief bill? Well, there's no question there'll be a debate about the $15 minimum wage, as there always has been, but we have to put it in, into practical terms. $15 an hour, you work 40 hours a week, you work 50 weeks a year, you get two weeks vacation, you make $30,000 a year. Where I'm from in New York, $30,000 a year, you're not gonna be able to live the American dream where you can get a place to live, you can have health insurance, you can educate your kids and you retire one day without being scared. Other places in the country, uh, $15 an hour would be uh, $30,000 a year in wages uh, would be a decent living. So we have to try and find that balance. Uh, right now, we think that it's better to lift everybody up uh, to get them to have higher wages and recreate the American dream, where if people are willing to work hard, they're willing to work 40 or 50 hours a week, they're willing to work 48 or 50 weeks a year, they make enough money so they can enjoy a decent life in our country. That's what the American dream is all about. Uh, so we need to create more wages. That's why the President Biden's new Buy America plan, the infrastructure package, even the uh, COVID relief package, all these things are trying to put people to work to try and create real jobs for people so they can have a decent life in the United States of America. And again, whether you're progressive or conservative, everybody in America thinks if you're willing to work hard, you should have a decent life. So we need to recreate that for people. We're creating enormous wealth. We've seen the stock market booming. That's wonderful. That's right. great. Let's I figure out how we can share that money with people who go to work every day. I only have so much time here, and I, I, I do want to get to this one other topic here, because Senator Se Shelley Moore Capito um, of West Virginia did say recently, that, uh, actually on Inauguration Day, that she believes that there should only be nine Supreme Court justices and introduced a bill that said as much, that it should be limited to nine. Is that something that you'd be willing to consider? Oh, I've always thought that was the case, that we, the nine Supreme Court justices has always been good for the United States of America. We've, we've managed it to work. Uh, I've always been supportive of that. I don't like the idea of increasing the size of the Supreme Court. I never have. Thank you so much, Representative Tom Swazi. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much.